What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're here for the first time. It's time for a Q&A. So I just want to say thank you to all of those who submitted questions on YouTube and on Instagram. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram so that you get a heads up when these things are going to happen. So I'm also serving you like puffs for the first time. Like... Okay. So anyways, I'm just gonna get through this Q&A. Uh, let's go through the Instagram ones first and then we'll go into the YouTube ones. I'm gonna do my best to get through all of them. Sit back, relax, grab some tea, and let's do this. Okay, so the first question says, how are you so consistent with making content even with having a family? Ooh, this is a good question. First of all, I knew that I wanted to commit to being consistent and that meant uploading every single week uh, a lot of people will tell you upload two times a week three times a week every day as much as you can especially when you're starting out and i just knew for me that wasn't going to be realistic so i just knew that okay i can commit to one time a week and i know that i can maintain that so what i usually do is i upload my videos when my son is sleeping sometimes i'll do it when he's awake but he's pretty loud because like year old boy you know so i usually do it like right now he's taking a nap and then uh all of my hair videos that you guys see most of the most of my hair videos that you guys see are all filmed in the night like after everybody in the house is sleeping that's when i turn the camera on and wash my hair and do that stuff so i'm also a stay-at-home mom so i don't have like a nine to five job that i need to be committing to and then uh, you know doing the youtube thing that would be pretty tough so what i usually try to do is just film when my son is sleeping when he's taking a nap or in the night and then i'll edit throughout the week at any time so i just do it when everybody's away and i just have time to myself and i just don't overcommit. like i just know listen for me family comes first you know this is my number one priority being a mom being a wife so i'm not gonna overcommit and say sorry guys no dinner tonight i got youtube sorry no soccer we got youtube sorry no hugs we got you like you know what i'm saying just gonna be realistic one time a week that's what i do another thing is that i usually batch film or batch edit so I'll film videos within like one or two days, like back to back videos, depending on like what I'm doing to my hair. And that way I can make several videos off of just like one day of filming. So that way I'm not always constantly on the camera. So that's usually how I do it. Okay. The next one says, will you ever consider straightening your hair now that you are on this natural journey? This is really interesting. Um, I remember like when I was first going natural and I was like, I just can't wait to straighten my hair. I just can't wait to see the length. And now I'm like, I don't really care that much. I think I'm going to straighten it for my one year natural anniversary. Why did I say that with quotes? Because it is going to be my one year natural. September, October time. Uh, and that's just like something fun, something nice to do just to see um, how much my hair has grown and stuff like that. But I'm not going to be straightening it as much as I used to straighten it. Like when I was relaxed, I used to straighten my hair like once a month or once every three months or whatever. I'm not going to be doing that just because I feel like this is my time to like enjoy my natural hair. I haven't, I haven't had natural hair for pretty much my whole life like majority of my life so i'm just like enjoying my curls enjoying my hair and experimenting and seeing what i can do and stuff like that but i definitely will be straightening my hair just not all the time and it's not really something i'm focused on so yep on to the next question so the next question is do you want more kids <laughs> And yes, I definitely do want more kids. I have one son right now and he's two years old and I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it and I hope one day that I do have more kids for sure. So the next question says, would you ever start a vlog slash family channel in the future? <sighs> I've got this question more than once and I have really, really mixed feelings about it. I love my family, but I don't really think I like putting my well i have this one son now but if i have more kids like i don't like the idea of like putting my kids out there like on the internet i think certain things should be private and i think i want some things to be private so i'm not like it's never say never kind of thing i'm i mean i said i would never go natural and here we are today I'm not saying i'll never do it but it's not something that i'm looking forward to doing or anything that's happening in the near future i just want cer certain things to be private and you know let work be work and pleasure be pleasure and not try to mix the two that's why you don't really see my son a lot here on youtube either like he's two and like he just doesn't need to be on here like i don't really know and like do people like watching family channels do you, do you guys like watching vlog type family channels sometimes 
I do like certain families I don't mind but like I don't know do you guys even like watching that stuff do people like watching that like is that still a thing I don't know comment down below and let me know if like family channels and like vlog channels are still something that you personally like to watch maybe I'll do like my own vlog channel but family channel I don't know maybe probably not but maybe so this is a two-part question the first one is what's your favorite hairstyle to do on yourself Ooh. okay so I really like doing I used to be a twist out girl like a hard core twist out girl now I'm a braid out girl so if we're talking about like just with my natural hair then braid outs for sure if we're talking about protective styling then I really love the spring locks um, that I do that I did I have a video on that I really love the way that that crochet spring locks style turned out but I also loved passion twist so I don't know passion twist spring locks and braid out so for protective styling sake I would say passion twists and for like crochet hairstyles I would say the crochet spring locks and then on my own natural hair I would say braid outs and I think the question said yeah on yourself so yeah and then the next part of the question says name one product you can't live without <sighs> this is hard because different products play a different role like shampoos deep conditioners moisturizers gels all of that I'm gonna say two I can't say one I would I definitely love African pride aloe vera pre -poo. that stuff that stuff that stuff Yes, I don't think I can never not have that like I need that um, But also the Aussie moist three minute miracle Three minute moisture miracle whatever it's called deep conditioner It's like five dollars I can't not have that either so it's a toss, toss up between those two one because it's so affordable and so effective that's the Aussie moist and the other one because it it's just it's a butter it makes your hair feel amazing I never used to be a pre poo girl I found that product and I became a pre poo girl so try that out it would definitely be between Aussie moist and the African pride pre poo this question says what's your summer skincare routine this is a good question. This is a very good question. Mind you, I did do a, like a skincare, nighttime skincare routine using like free samples and it has like zero views. So go watch it. Just support your girl. Go watch it. <laughs> well, usually just depends. Usually what I do is wash my face in the night. I only wash my face once a day. I do have more dry skin, so I try not to make it more dry by washing it with a, uh, by washing it with like a cleanser in the morning and night so usually what I'll do is in the night especially if I'm wearing like mascara like right now um, I'll, or any foundation or anything I'll wash my face in the night with my uh, Neutrogena moisturizer if needed I'll exfoliate I do that one or two times a week um, I'll exfoliate or do a mask then after that I'll just do my Aveeno positively radiant moisturizer and that's pretty much it guys I keep it super simple especially in the summer and then when I wake up in the morning I just rinse my face and then just dry it and put on my moisturizer again and that's it um, sometimes I'll use sunblock depending on how purple I want to look that day you know <laughs> that's pretty much it I think with skincare less is more that's the key don't let anybody try to sell you 50,000 products like find your staples and that's okay it. so this is the last question I wanted to save this one for last did going natural change your self-confidence initially so as you know if you've seen my um, hair journey video I'll put it up here or up here or up here somewhere if you've seen my hair journey video then you know I got my first relaxer when I was about four or five years old so I've had straight hair ever since then that's that kind of formed my identity and you know who I was like you look at yourself in the mirror and you recognize yourself as being that person right so I had straight hair for such a long period of time that going natural for me was kind of scary because it was like what am I gonna look like like I'm literally gonna look like a totally different person and I used to tell my friends this all the time like guys I'm gonna look so different I'm gonna look so different and I'll put some pictures here of like what I used to look like with straight hair you can be the judge of if you think I look totally different or not but I kind of prepared myself that you know what it wasn't really about my hair that made me confident it wasn't straight hair that made me confident or a relaxer that made me confident I should just be confident just because of who I am so I had um, I transitioned for one year and then did my big chop and you know went through that but the whole time I was preparing myself to look different and 
look in the mirror and see something different but i was so excited to see my curls i was so excited to see what my natural hair looked like that i didn't really care about like how short my hair was how kinky it was i didn't know if i was going to be a 4c or a 3b i didn't know i didn't care i just really wanted to see my hair and so initially it was just an adjustment more so because i didn't know what styles to do like I, I couldn't just throw my hair in a ponytail or something like that. So um, my self-confidence was a little bit shaken because I just felt like, oh my gosh, I can't do anything with my hair. I don't know what to do. But it was all good. Like it was so, it was so short-lived and I expected it to be a little bit more scary, but it really wasn't. It was, it, it ended up being good. So yeah. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for my Q&A video. If you missed the chance to submit your questions for the Q&A video, don't worry, just make sure you follow me on Instagram so that way you can be the first to find out when these Q&As are gonna happen. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I answered all of the questions that you guys were wondering about. And if you have any other questions that you wanna ask, leave them down below and maybe I'll do another Q&A if you guys like it. If you guys like Q&A videos, give me a thumbs up for sure. And if you made it to the end of the video and you're not subscribed, just do it now it's fine there's still time you can subscribe floor is open the floor is yours <laughs> anyways guys question of the day what should the question of the day be hmm this is a different video question of the day is do you guys still watch family vlogs do you guys like vlog type videos do you is that a thing do you guys like that comment down below and let me know if you guys like vlogs if you guys like family vlogs if you like vlog style videos and if you want me to do it comment down below and let me know thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one